Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey, and you are here. What's up? If you are listening to this on iTunes, or Google Play, or any of those, what's going on? Hopefully you're making some money. Hopefully you're giving us some ratings uh, on that platform. Go ahead and review us. That's awesome. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, what's going on? Make sure you comment down below and give us a thumbs up. And... Um, yeah, check that out. Either way, we appreciate you being here. If this is not your first time and you have seen the episodes, you've watched them all, you've gone back, you've binged them, you've listened to them, you watch them and listen to them every week, and you give us a thumbs up, what's going on? It is because of you that we get to do the show, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and the next step up, if you are the elite, one of the cool kids, one of the awesome people that are uh, in my life that make it amazing. You are one of the elite. You do all that stuff. You listen. You've reviewed it. You've given us a thumbs up. You've done all that stuff. And even better, you order your supplies through me. It is because of you that my family gets to eat, that I get to eat, that my dog gets to eat. If you haven't met Spuds, I gotta I gotta get Spuds on here so you guys can meet him sometime. But no, it truly, truly thank you. You guys have killed it, knocked it out of the park. Literally, I can't say enough thank you guys. Um, people who even call me or text me and be like, hey, I got everything in my cart. I want you to put the, the order in. That's how I get credit. That's literally amazing. I wish I could high five all of you and I can't wait to meet you guys and just tell you thank you. Genuinely from the bottom of my heart. You guys and girls that let me put your orders in. That's awesome. If you have an order that you want me to put in, please text me. Or call me, 862-312-2026. If you have any questions, please call me, text me, 862-312-2026. If you have questions even on bidding, I have people who send me pictures all the time on bidding, just questions in general, you can text me, you can even email me, josh at window cleaning resource. Shoot pictures over. I can't get pictures on text, so if you text me a picture, I'm not going to get it because it's a VoIP, but you can email it to me and I will get that, so... Enough of all that. You guys are amazing. Literally, literally amazing. Last month was epic for you guys doing that. You guys have really come out, and uh, I truly appreciate it. it. makes me feel so appreciated. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Well, enough of that. Um, so, yeah, you've checked this out. You've, you've watched. You, you've commented. And if you have commented on YouTube, you are av- uh, able to possibly win a uh, prize pack from us. Every single week we do this, we give away a um, prize pack, basically $50 credit and a swag bag. This week's winner is Tyler Johnson. What's going on, Tyler? You're the winner. Just shoot me your information via email, joshuawindowcleaningresource.com. And if you want to win, we are going to be giving away a pair of tickets to the huge convention. Every single week, you are entered to win, and we're giving one away. So that is awesome, huge, and epic. So please comment down below anything, good, bad, or the latter. Comment on YouTube that we pick a random winner every single week. And uh, shout-outs. I just want to say what's up to my boy, Wesley. Wesley, man, what's going on? I met Wesley in uh, Vegas, hung out with him. He's a super cool dude so what's up wesley uh alan brown what's going on man uh and david dixon um who uh i am now second place josh in his world so either way it is what it is what's going on guys speaking of when i met wesley in vegas the huge convention is coming up this year is in august and it is going to be amazing if you haven't done a convention yet this is the one you have to go to. You have to go to it. It's in Atlanta. So whatever your flight is, is probably pretty decent. If you're driving, drive. What the heck? 10 hours. It's worth it. It's so absolutely worth it. I'm telling you right now. If you buy a ticket, plane, flight, food, hotel, everything, you buy it all and you don't like it, I will personally pat you on the back and tell you I'm pretty sorry about that. Because I'm not going to give your money back. You're not going to want it back. It's literally the most fun I have all year. I look forward to it. And this year it's in uh, Atlanta. It is at the Atlanta Marriott Marquis in Georgia. Uh, It's August 23rd and 24th. And really, after you're done watching this, 
go check it out. It's thehugeconvention.com. It's so much fun. I'm coming in. I'm going in maybe Monday, I think. Uh, the convention's not till the end. I'm there the whole stinking week just hanging out with people and, uh, you know, meeting people, conferencing, doing meetings and stuff. It's amazing. And we're going to be there selling equipment. And there's a trade show, which is huge. You'll be able to see all vendors from every kind of industry that has to do with what you do. It's so awesome. It's so awesome. If you haven't been to one, go to one. If you go to one, you'll never miss one ever again. Ask anybody. Ask anybody. It's an awesome one. So go. This is like the largest one, too, in the world or nation or something. I mean, we're talking about potentially having a comma in the amount of people that are there this year. That's ridiculous. Contractors from enti- the entire world. We got guys coming in from, I know, from Australia, uh, from uh, England, like uh, UK, somewhere else. Um, sometimes we have Germany and like China, all over the place. It's ridiculous. So come and hang out. And the media creators are going to be there too. So Luke, the window cleaner, don't know if you heard of him. Um, you're going to have, uh, fluff is going to be there and Joe is going to be there. Um, and a bunch of them are going to be there. So you got to come, you got to check it out. They're all there. I know Jordy, I think Jordy's coming too. It's, it's awesome. So Steve-O, all the guys, all the guys that you like to see are going to be there. So, uh, and I'm there so we can like actually high five and say, what's up. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, this week I want to get into, um, a topic that is a little bit different. Okay. We've talked about motivation before we've talked about what it takes to be a business owner, right? This applies to anything. If you've got a window cleaning business, pressure washing business, carpet care, um, roof cleaning only, whatever you're doing, this applies to it all. And we've talked motivation before and motivation is kind of on the same side as, as, as hustle if you will. And that's what we're talking about. It's hustle. So, okay. Let me preface this by saying something that people on here are going to understand and people on here are going to also not like, but there are people out there who are not made to own and run a business. Now I'm not saying that's you. I'm not saying it's any of you. You guys are watching or listening to this. You care. You give two dumps about your business and you are hustling you're making it happen but there's people out there that i'm going to give you an example so there's a you guys remember ground round did anybody have those that's like a midwest thing ground round great restaurant when i was little right so that place was around forever and they ended up going out and the cooks bought the location right they've been there forever the cooks were there for 10 years the location failed in a year And uh, a cook knows how to cook, but does he know how to run a business? There's a lot to say that. So a lot of these guys that are coming over, they go, hey, man, I've cleaned windows forever, years. I'm going to start my own business. And then they have troubles with it because you knew how to work the business, but you didn't know how to run a business. There's a huge difference. You need to have hustle. If you don't have hustle, a drive, right, a fire, to keep yourself going, then you're just not going to succeed. So you have to have that. I know you have that. That's why you're listening to this right now. But I've been talking to a lot of people this time of year. A lot of companies, uh, guys, girls are getting into starting a business because it's that time of year. This even uh, pertains to companies that have been around for a while. But it's when you get in and you find, okay, I want to make more money. I want to have more jobs. I want to land more accounts. I want to do that. You can do that. Literally, you have the power to do whatever you want. What you put in is what you get out. And that is hustle. It's cliche. I know the term hustle is cliche. But if you want more money, freedom, time, whatever you are in this industry for, you can have it. It's what you put into it that you're going to get out. And here's the big thing. I had a guy just, when I'm recording this now, two days ago maybe, he um, uh, was talking to me and he says, hey, am I going to make it? Can I do this? Is this something that even makes sense? And I said, 
you're the only one that can answer that. Because for me, it makes sense. For you listening, it may make sense. For the other guys that you're watching, your competition, that's doing it. It makes sense. But for you, does it make sense? That's up to you. I can't tell you how to hustle. I can't tell you how to stoke the fire of, you know, drive. I can't tell you that. I can't make that happen. There's no book that says that. There's no, uh, you know, motivational, there's no, there's no video by Jordy or Luke or Fluff or all of us, Steve-O, Joe, like all those guys, they can't tell you how to have hustle. We can't tell you to be motivated. Here's the thing. If you come from a job where you show up nine to five, eight to six, whatever your hours were, Even if they were long, it doesn't matter. Any job that you came from, you were handed jobs to do. You did them. You did them hard. You maybe did them amazingly. But you did jobs handed to you. You went home and you showed back up when you were told to come there. But when it all falls down on your lap, that you are the sole reason you fail or succeed, you have to have the hustle. You have to bring it. Because if you don't, nobody else will. Like I've said this before, nobody else gives two dumps if you fail or you succeed. The only person who cares about that is you. Because if you are the person who is in charge of getting the financial wherefall or whatever, right? If you're the person that's in charge of the finance side of things, the uh, financial well-being of your family, you're the one who better care. And I can't tell you how to care. I can't tell you you can't watch a video. There's just certain times where you got to stop watching for the answer and create the answer. And that's where hustle comes in. The people who succeed are the people who hustle hardest. Now, this is not necessarily, a lot of us get into business because we want that freedom. This is not meaning that forever you're going to be working 60 hours a week. This means that your car broke down on the side of the road. And you got to get it off the shoulder so you don't get hit. You got to push that car. Can you do it? Yeah. But what's the hardest part of that is the beginning. It's getting it moving. Once it's moving, it has momentum, just like your business. If you have the hustle to push yourself hard enough and fast enough and and care enough, you're going to succeed amazingly well you're going to make more money than you ever thought you would you're going to have more freedom than you ever thought but you need to have the hustle hustle is a cliche term because you know everybody's got the pictures that hang on the wall and says something about hustle this and hustle that that's awesome it is but it also is something that needs to happen inside of you i always say i always say this is again one of those terms but would you hire yourself or would you fire yourself And this was literally one of my epiphanies like five years ago now. As I was sitting there one day and I was just like, and one day it was just that point where it was just boredom and I'm like sitting there looking at my computer. And uh, I thought, man, if, if I had an employee that was doing jack shit that I was doing at that very moment, would I hire myself or would I fire myself? And I said, I don't know, I would fire myself in an instant. What did I do today? What have you done today? What did you do to bring value? If you didn't bring value, then why are you why are you doing it? Right? You're showing up to something just to do emotions. You gotta have that hustle on fire. This time of year, having that hustle, having that drive to get out there and push harder than you ever have builds the entire year because people are now calling you. It's finally summer where you are. I'm peeling. Look at this. Look at this. That's gross. Look at that. I'm peeling. Again, second time this year I'm peeling. <sighs> anyway, people are calling you. They're ready. They're ready to give you your money, but you got to go snatch it. You got to take it. Look at the most successful guys in our industry. The ones that are out there, right? Like the Chrissy Lambos of the industry. The guys who are out there making it, right? Who are building something. Look at the, the Josh Thompsons and the, the Peter Artuses and the, uh, all these other guys who are 
succeeding and they're growing. I'm talking to guys now, multiple a day, that have had the biggest months that they've ever had. Some of that stuff falls in your lap, but no, most of it doesn't. This is hustle. This is what are you putting into it? Talk to Josh Latimer sometime or watch his videos. The drive is what exists in you to make yourself succeed. If you don't have it, you don't have it. So you're the only one that can stoke that fire. In business, when you own a company compared to when you work for one, nothing is given to you. Like I said, it's easier down the road, but you have to earn it. Earn it or move over and let somebody else do it. And this is the time of year you should have the biggest drive and hustle. And eventually you're going to work so hard that you're going to, I don't care. I don't want to even, a hundred bucks an hour, I don't care. I don't want the money. I just want my time, all my freedom. Right? We all hit that. Be in business for five years, seven years. Get that boredom itch. Right? Why do you think people sell their businesses after five to seven years? Somebody else's turn. Somebody else deal with this thing. I'm, I'm done. I'm burned out, right? Because they hustled when they had to hustle. So it's up to you. It's up to you to hustle when you need to. Now, the one thing I also talked to, another, another guy uh, I've talked to quite a bit. Um, he was just talking to me this uh, week when I'm recording again, beginning of this week. And he says to me, he goes, well, he goes, I just want to have the freedom but I want to be able to make enough money, a ton of money, but have a ton of freedom. Like that's why I did this was for the freedom. I'm with you. I'm on that side of things. Service business, you can have as much freedom. I've not missed one doctor's appointments with any of my kids. I get them on and off the bus. All that other stuff, It's that's what I wanted. That is what I wanted. So to have that's fine, but you still have to hustle even for the freedom. Why? Because you need to find the jobs that you can have 10 jobs, but they're the 10 most amazing jobs in a week. Those 10 amazing jobs make it so you can have the freedom. And if you don't hustle, they'll go get those. If you're hustling for freedom, it's a lot harder. You're not just looking for qu- quantity. You're looking for quality. You got to fire customers and hire them and increase prices and get the pricing to where it's at so that you can work 10 hours a week. Right? Think about this. If you worked, if you did 10 solid hours of roof cleaning and you're averaging, we'll say 200 $200, right? That's enough money in 10 hours. That could be maybe one full day. But you could live the whole week doing whatever the flip you wanted for that money you made on those 10. But you got to find those 10. And what happens to those 10 when you have to, you do those jobs, now you need 10 more. You have to hustle. Hustle for freedom, hustle for money. But you have to, you have to hustle. You have to do it. And it opened my eyes when I was talking to this guy. He's like, he's like can I do it? Can I, is this even something I should do? I, I don't know if I can do it. I don't either. No one does. You either do or you don't, right? Like that's Yoda all up in here. <laughs> it's Yoda. But do or don't, there is no try. Like either you do it or you don't do it. We're all capable of it. It's just if you have the fire, if you can make that, that work, that hustle. Talk to Dave Carroll. Dave Carroll's got the hustle. Like if you talk to that dude... That dude's got hustle. He's just hustle. He's all over the place. We got, I always tell people too, people always would ask, they're like, why do you do so many different things? Like as business owners, a successful business owner has ADD. That's a truth. You have ADD. That's why you're awesome at business because you can do 10 things at once and somehow manage to get them all done. If you got bad ADD, you're doing 10 things at once and never finishing them, (laughs) right? But ADD is hustle. If you can do enough things, but do them well. That's hustle. That's how you, that's how you succeed. I had uh, another guy about uh, maybe a month ago and we were talking about business and just in general in passing, he was ordering some supplies for a spring order. And uh, he says, he says, I want more money, but I don't know how to get that more money. He's like, I just don't know like time. Should I hire people or should I stay solo or should I, um, what should I do? Right. And at that point, you then need to reassess what you're making per hour on what jobs you have. You can raise rates. We can all raise rates. I know that's the cliche term. I don't want to raise rates. I'm happy where I'm at. Then fine. But if you hustle to change those jobs and make those better, it's still hustle. You don't have to go out and get more jobs unless you lose people. 
You just have to change the game and always be thinking. That's hustle. Mental hustle is just the same as a physical, physical hustle. I would love for you to comment down below and let me know. If you're watching this on YouTube, the number one thing, are you listening right now? Number one thing you do that is your hustle. Put it down below. I want to know, is it hours per week? Is it what it is? Is it the quality of what you do? What is it that you do to hustle? Because we all have something to hustle. Let's all learn from each other too. Put it down below. If you're listening, which we always have, um, gosh, like five plus times, you know, like five times more people listening on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, all that fun stuff. Um, if you're listening, it's a little bit harder to do the interaction. But think to yourself right now, what do you do to make yourself more valuable in the hustle? How do you how do you stoke the fire? How do you get the the desire to be better and bigger? Here's something that I started doing um, actually at the beginning of last week. Now, here at WCR, we're always very big. Chris, if you know anything about him, is very big in numbers. He's very big in, you could ask him, I mean, how many blue zero hoses were sold compared to red and what time of year do they sell the best? And he could tell you within 30 seconds exactly everything down. He's very big in numbers. So I decided... So I want to have, uh, everybody's got goals, but I want to have a structure to myself. So what I did was numbers. I put it all down, all in projections and said, here's the numbers of where we need to be. Here's the numbers of where we're at, where where we're tracking to, what we need to do. And I changed it down to the day, which actually is the week. We'll go week. Um, how many days in the week, but that week. So say a normal week is five days and, you know, beginning of the month, maybe four or three, that type of thing. Breaking it down so far to finding out where you want to go has been huge. It is so much easier to know where you're going when you can focus on little bits of it and you can focus on so many more pieces of it. And that right there is the definition of hustle is I can't hustle. I can't say all of me needs to be better. I can focus on one thing. What what do you want? Do you want more route? Do you want more route right now? Go get route. Then that's your hustle. Your hustle is route, right? Your hustle doesn't need to be the best accounting. Your hustle doesn't need to be the most screens cleaned or gutters cleaned. If that's not your hustle right now, focus on your hustle. There's 100% of you and all that can be is 100%. Even if you have 10 things, it's 10% on each of them. That's as high as you can go while still being uniform on it. There's only 100% of you. So focus your hustle. You can put way more. If you focused on one thing over 10, you'd have 100% on that one thing instead of 10% on 10, right? So hustle, man. It's this time of year. It's the time of year to go out and get what you need to get. And uh, this week, We really were on nothing. I just was rambling about hustling. But I'm telling you, hustling is what is inside you and only you can tell if you have it or you don't. You know. You know. And if you think you don't have it, how can you get it? No, None of these videos, none of these podcasts, none of this anything can tell you that. That's up to you. So figure it out for yourself and and be better. Be more hustle. And all you people who want to ask me if you think that I, if, if I think you should do it, If I think you succeed, I know you'll succeed. You need to know it though. You need to do what it takes to get there. Only you know that part. But any of us can make this happen. You want to be better, be better. That's completely on you. And being better, I'm going back to the huge convention. Go to the huge convention. Go. It's thehugeconvention.com. Go there. If you're listening again via iTunes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening. Thank you for um, always listening every week. I mean, our numbers are huge, the biggest they've ever been. So I really do appreciate that genuinely. Um, And again, if you want to order supplies for me, let me know. 862-312-2026. Shoot me a text. Um, You guys who put everything in your cart and have me order, I literally can't tell you how excited I am. It's just been such a big boost of... um, 
Everybody just coming out. Spring orders are here. Spring is here. Again, sunburn, man. Again, sunburn. First time was on a cruise. This this last time I went to the NHRAs. Burn. It is what it is, but uh, go out there and hustle. And like I said, put down below if you are on iTunes, I'm sorry, on YouTube, put down what you think your hustle is. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to see it. And I'd love to help you improve it if there is anything I can. Make sure to watch the other guys too on uh, Winnipeg Resources' YouTube page. And uh, until next week, go out there and be epic.